Hello students and welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about normal distribution. This is taken from chapter 8 of Form 5 at Math. Yeah? Um, it's under the topic probability distribution. Uh, let's write it here. It's under probability distribution. And um, this is a very good topic for you to master because uh, this will definitely come out for SPM section B in paper 2. And it's always a 10 mark question. Uh, this particular chapter, chapter 8, uh, for the past five years if you look at the past year paper 2005 6 7 8 and 9 there has been this question probability distribution uh, as the last question in section B <laughs> okay so uh, and this is actually much much easier to master than integration or differentiation so it's a good thing for you to learn yeah okay now first of all um, this is a general introduction of how to uh, read the normal distribution table so if you have trouble trying to read the table you don't understand when you need to uh, minus and all this then please go through this uh, video the entire one okay I'm gonna explain to you all the situation so let's say you have this table I mean you have this curve yeah this curve is actually represented by um, what you read from the table yeah and it is always advisable to sketch so let's let's have a look at a, a, a question you will always see probability of a Z score whatever that you read from the table is Z score yeah probability of Z score is bigger than let's say 0 0.833 Okay, so when you see this, what does it mean? It means this, uh, the z-score represents the x-axis on the curve. And the z-score is what you read from the table, yeah? Okay, so when it says bigger than 0 0.833, the first thing you should do is you should sketch it out. Now, unless you're very good at imagining, some people can imagine this, so they don't have to sketch at all. So it doesn't matter. Sketching does not give you m marks, but it does help, help you to have a clearer picture of what you're reading from the table. So z-score bigger than 0 0.833, 833 first of all this is positive so therefore 0 0.833 should be somewhere around here yeah okay and if it is bigger than 0 0.833 that means uh, it is this portion shade there uh, it is this portion correct or not bigger than means towards the right of z-score okay the x-axis here now then you can read from the table 0 0.833 so I'm going to show you how to read from the table. So uh, let's have a look. This is the table. 0 0.8. Uh, no, look down on the left-hand column. That is your z-score here on the left-hand column. Uh, and uh, you're supposed to read 0 0.8 here. Can you see 0 0.8 there? And then a 3. 3 is here on top. So 0 0.83. So that means you're going to take this number. Okay. And there's another tree, right? Remember, so this is 0 0.833. There's another tree here, which you will have to subtract, yeah? You will have to subtract. So, the tree here, and uh, it's better to use a ruler. Don't uh, look through, look past to the other row, yeah? So, that is 8. Okay, so now, you're supposed to get 0 0.833, right? So, that means your answer is, there's a point here, so it's 0 0.2033 minus Eight and the eight should be at the last number. So what you should do is always this: you should write two o three three minus eight. Press this in your calculator first. Okay, so minus. Okay, uh, let's let's write it over here. Uh, Zero point two o three three, and you're supposed to minus the eight over here. So that will give you zero point two. 025 okay so that means 0 0.2025 is the answer for 0 0.833 from the table when you have read it so it's always a minus yeah now what does this represent you must always understand the meaning of what you're looking for you know don't just read the table without understanding it so the meaning is this 0 0.2025 is actually represented by this shaded region the area under the curve of this shaded region, which is bigger than 0 0.833, is 0 0.2025. And what does this mean again? The area under the curve, so I'm going to write it here, area under the curve for this normal distribution curve, it's always shaped like this, represents the probability. 
so you should understand that this chapter actually you're looking for probability normal distribution gives you probability of a certain situation which you cannot find using the normal probability chapter that you learned uh, in the previous chapter in chapter 7 okay so that means when you read from the table 0 0.833 the answer that you get 0 0.2025 represents the area that is that is towards the outside of the curve over here okay now similarly similarly if probability of z score is less than negative 0.833 yeah that means it's here right and it's directly opposite 0 0.8 negative okay so can you see that if this less than you will be shading this part correct and since this curve, yeah, it's a direct mirror image of each other. That means the FZ, the Y axis, cut the curve half at its axis of symmetry. Can you see that? So therefore, do you see that this part, since it's at 0 0.833 and this part is negative 0 0.833, the area of the blue color shaded region and the yellow color shaded region should be the same because it's exactly the opposite of each other. So this is also 0 0.2025 so that means if you see a negative you read as usual from the table you still read 0 0.833 because if you notice from the table there is no negative on the z score so you still read 0 0.833 but you have to understand that when you read from the table the answer that you get over here whatever answer that you get represents the area shaded towards the outside of the curve you understand this part and this part okay it is never inside of the curve yeah it is never towards the inside it's always towards the outside so probability of z score less than 0 0.833 negative is also 0 0.2025 so now the problem the question comes here the question is this what if you are required to find the probability of z score in between negative 0.83 and 0.833 so if you were to shade this it is this part correct or not z is in between negative 0.833 and 8.33 uh, 0.833 so how are you going to find this you will have to read from the table as usual you read 0.833 and you read negative 0.833 which means you get these two okay and in order to find the one in the middle you use one to minus 0 0.2025 and minus 0 0.2025 and why is that because this is probability remember area under the curve represents probability and what's the maximum that a probability can be the maximum that a probability can be is one correct or not you cannot have probability more than one because one already represents hundred percent certainty so that means the entire area of the curve under the curve is one so a portion of it here represents is 0 0.2025 uh, the other portion is here so if i want to find the one that is in the middle this is like looking for area just use one minus this area minus this area and you get the one that is in the middle the pink color one over here yeah so in order to find the area or the probability that is in the middle you will always have to minus you have to use something to minus something because whatever that you read from the curve uh, sorry whatever that you read from the table is always the outside part the outside part it is never the inside if you want to find the inside you have to minus it so in this case you will get the answer 0.595 so this is the probability for the one inside here so if you add all of them 0 0.2025 plus 0 0.2025 plus 0 0.595 you will get one the entire probability of the area under the curve okay so this is generally uh, the type of question that will come out of course um, this is just a basic understanding questions that will be asked are normally understanding question problem solving they give you a problem and uh, you will have to s understand how to solve the problem then only you will come to this come to z score all right so i'm going to illustrate this you got to test your understanding by doing some spm question so i will show you in the next video using spm 2006 paper 2 question 11 okay this is a probability 
distribution question from the uh, year 2006. Okay, I'm going to use this to illustrate to you in the following video. So make sure you hang around and uh, stay tuned.